At the end of this video, you'll know how to pull off your very own iconic Iron Man helmet shot from Marvel Studios' Iron Man, and pretty much every other film he appears in, all in Filmora 9. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's Johnny from Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. But before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you want more videos just like this. So, welcome to the Homemade Hollywood series. Many of you have asked how to make effects from your favorite TV shows and movies in Filmora 9, and today we're going to start getting right into those. So today we're going to start off with that iconic helmet shot from Iron Man. Let's get started. First, you'll need to make a black backdrop. So grab a thick blanket or something black and put it behind you. In my case, I'm going to take a black blanket that I have and lodge it into my doorway. Try to block all the light out in your room. For me, that means blocking out my window and turning off the lights once I'm set. Now we can point an LED light at a whiteboard, white sheet, ceiling, or in my case, a white wall in front of our subject, which will bounce a soft light back at the subject. By doing this, we will have created a small dark zone to film in. If you're seeing your backdrop lit up too much, try moving the subject further away from the backdrop and closer to the camera. That way your subject will be getting more light compared to the background. And of course, don't forget to leave some space for your camera. If you're using a zoom lens, it might be a little easier to shoot zoomed in from further away. This will allow your backdrop to more easily fill the background. The lighting setup is ready now for you to film. Jarvis, sometimes you have to run before you can walk. So now that we have all that footage, let's import that into Filmora 9. First, let's bring all the footage into the media library. Click on the import button and select your footage. Next, we'll drag this clip into the timeline and start adding effects. We used the following effects from Filmstocks. You can download them at filmstocks.com. Let's start by adding an overlay that will give us that glass look like the inside of the helmet. For that, I'll go to Effects, Included, Overlays, and find an overlay called Cinematic Flares 6. This overlay imitates the reflection of glass inside the helmet. We can even add another layer of it to make the reflection even stronger. This looks good to me. Now let's add a frame to it. I'm going to use Overlay 2 from the Secret Mission Pack. Now let's recreate the bullseye that's part of the display inside the helmet. First I'll go to Elements and then I'll look in the Secret Missions Pack. I like the look of Element 9 so I'll drop it in the timeline. We can adjust the position and resize it in the viewer. To fake a 3D effect, we can also move element 9 up a track and add element 2 from the secret mission pack underneath it. Adjust the size, opacity, and position of these elements by double-clicking them to access the video panel. Let's keep building the display inside the helmet by adding an audio display at the bottom of the frame. I'll use element 5 from the action pack. Resize and place it at the bottom of the frame. I also want to add a map. Let's try element 15 from the deep web pack. That's all the elements I want to add. To make it look more like it's a curved helmet, we're going to apply lens correction to each element. Double click on the element in the timeline and the video settings panel will appear on the top left corner. Scroll down to find the lens correction and try out a few options. Click OK when you find one that you like, and then repeat that for every element you've added. The last thing I'm going to do is color grade my video to make it look more cinematic. Since the Iron Man helmet in the movies is usually a dark blue color grade, I'm going to replicate that. In order to do that, I'm going to select the close-up video of my face, and then go up to the Advanced Color Correction tool. In this window, you can do pretty much any color changes you want but let's try some of the LUTs in the Presets tab. Let's go with this one, Harry Potter, since it gives the look that I want, and then hit OK to apply the changes. Let's export this and watch our Iron Man helmet video. Jarvis, sometimes you have to run before you can walk. Do you think you'll use this effect? And if so, what kind of videos do you plan to make? Let us know in the comments down below and keep creating. 
Bye.